Hello and welcome to the Year 10 Assembly. Let's say the grace together. Grace, mercy and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. And also with you. Hello Year 10 and welcome to our Year 10 Assembly. I'm Mrs Lane and I'm the Year 11 Raising Standards Leader and Miss Cox, obviously you know, as your Year 10 and Year 9 Raising Standards Leader, is also going to be doing this assembly for you. We want you to know that we really miss you. All the staff miss you and it's not the same delivering lessons online, even though we try our best to make them as fun and engaging as possible. So in this assembly today, we're going to be going through some key things that hopefully you can remember from when you were in school. Things like Vespa and also we're going to be focusing on being positive because even though lockdown has been tricky for us all, being positive is so important. And even some days when you have to look a little harder for it, it's really what it really does you well to try and find some positivity from somewhere. As well as in this assembly, I'm going to be talking to you a little bit about what year 11 will look like next year. So we hope you find it useful and thank you for engaging with us. So what have I been doing in lockdown? Well, I've been keeping very busy with my three children at home to try and teach. Um, and I've also been um, obviously setting lessons and teaching on Google Classrooms. I've also been going for daily walks, um, getting out on my bike and running a bit and doing lots of baking. Um, donuts have been the favourite thing that I've made so far. So what have you been up to? What have you been doing in lockdown? I've seen some fantastic examples of positivity in the media and also in our local community. I was really inspired by Sir Tom Moore and what he achieved and how much money he raised for the NHS. Jamie, our old student, um, he did some amazing things by providing a food bank for Gravesham during the difficult time. And every Thursday at 8pm, I'm always really, really amazed by the fantastic response to Clap for Carers. These are three things that I found really inspiring and amazing during this lockdown time. And now Miss Cox is going to take you through Vespa and remind you of all the learning you did uh, before we went into lockdown. Hi, Tim. Just wanted to take a little bit of time to reflect upon this year. We spent a lot of time, especially in assemblies, focusing on the qualities of Vespa. So let's look at those briefly now. So at the beginning of the year, I asked you to start thinking about your vision for the future. And throughout this year, most of you have decided what you want to achieve. So many of you have set goals and begun to work towards them. And now is a great time to reflect upon that vision so that you can decide what you want to do moving forward and how you're going to progress further in year 11. We've been so impressed by you in the year 10 one-to-one -one meetings. So many of you have come into school or spoken with us on the phone and you've got a really clear idea of what you want to do. Some of you may still be undecided, but the important thing is that you have begun to consider your options. So keep it up. We will be continuing to work with you on deciding what your post 16 options are and helping you towards your vision. And when we're thinking about effort, lots of you have made a great effort this year and it's been great to hand out so many certificates within the assemblies recognising this. And even more, just last week, I had the opportunity to recognise the efforts of so many of you on Google Classrooms. So well done to everyone who received an award. Your effort has been amazing. We also started to think about systems and I'm so glad we did. We discussed about whether or not these messy bedrooms were going to be helpful as we worked towards our milestones and our PPEs. And we spoke about getting a system in place that was going to allow you to work better, more organised, more cleanly and to therefore be able to achieve. We didn't realise quite how important that workspace would become, but lots of you have thought about your systems and have managed to cope incredibly well with the Google Classrooms and the online work. So well done. Now, whilst your mock exams might have been postponed, I know so many of you have still been revising and continue to practice, especially on Google Classrooms. Don't worry, it will all still count and all of that practice will help when we get to the end of your GCSEs. And lastly, attitude. I have been so pleased to have worked with so many of you on this year. Throughout year 10 and towards year 11, your attitude has been noticed. The determination and the drive to do well, your motivation to succeed, 
It has been amazing to see how many of you organised your work experience. Some of you had already begun to hand in milestone work within a week of receiving them. And it's even more important now when times have been quite unusual, how resilient and positive you have been. Well done Year 10, your attitude has been amazing. So Year 11, what are the big differences between Year 11 and previous year groups? Well, the big one is obviously you're now the eldest, the eldest in the school in uniform. Um, you also have the opportunity to be able to go off site at lunch times. You have to earn that privilege um, from completing your milestones. You also will be expected to do some lunchtime and after school revision. We have a really high expectation of you because you're top of the school and because you're in a really important year. You have to start thinking about where you want to go at the end of year 11 too. We help you with this, so don't worry, but it's good to have an idea of whether you think that college, sixth form or an apprenticeship is more suited to you. You also have special year 11 form groups. Some of you will be uh, learning extra English or maths in these form groups. Others of you will be doing special skills to help you with year 11. You have life skills lessons and in these we help you with applying to your next steps and help you with other life skills that we feel are really important to help you along. And you get loads and loads of extra support, not only from myself, Miss Cox, Miss Scott Halsey, but also you have support from form tutors, learning mentors, your teachers and the pastoral team. On the screen now, you will see some key dates. These are really important events that are coming up in the next few weeks before the summer holidays. So at the moment, we are just finishing off the face to face interviews with you. We have really enjoyed seeing your faces, either online or in the sports hall, and we thank you for coming along, being really sensible and sharing all of your concerns, but also all the things that you've been doing at home. We've really been inspired by how much you've all been engaging with your online learning, but also how sensible you've all been and are really looking forward to coming back to school. Next week, obviously, we're getting you back into school and we're doing some English, maths and science with you. So have a look out for the timetable so you know where to be and when. Also, our virtual assembly is going live now. You're welcome. On Monday, the 1st of July, there's a really exciting webinar happening at 2.30 in the afternoon. The Education People are an organisation that focus on college, sixth form and apprenticeship places, and they are experts in this. They are offering a webinar by which they can tell you a bit more about each one and whether it suits you. So it's really worth logging on to that and Miss Jordan will send you around the link so you know what to do. But it's really worth logging on and joining that. On the 7th of July in the evening, we would have had our year 10 into year 11 evening. Unfortunately, as you know now, we can't get you all into the hall, but we are going to pre-record the presentation and we're going to share that with you and your parents. There'll be information about what happens in year 11, about GCSEs and a bit more about those post 16 choices. Parents will also have an opportunity to ask questions beforehand that we can hopefully answer during that presentation. And that link has gone out to parents and yourselves now. So check your emails. And finally, what would have been our work experience week on the 13th of July has also gone virtual. Miss Jordan has put lots of work into creating a work experience day. So your Google Classrooms will be closed down on Monday the 13th of July and you'll be expected to log on and engage with all the activities she's created where you can take part in virtual work experience days and work experience activities. So please make sure that on Monday the 13th of July you log on to your Year 10 Google Classroom for Careers and Development. So who recognises this page? Hands up if you do. Lots of you, hopefully, with your hands up. This is Mrs. Jordan's um, Careers and Development Google Classroom. It has been fantastic in lockdown and she's posted loads on there to really help you with your next steps. If you haven't let yet checked it out, please log in to Google Classrooms and go on it. She's put activities for you to complete to find out which career is more suited to you. She's put lots on there about college courses as well. It's really worth a look. So log into Google Classrooms and you'll see an extra classroom on the left and it will say career and development and have a go at some of the activities that she's posted for you. I wish that I'd had something like this when I was at school because it really is a brilliant way of finding out about what is out there and available to you. And finally, just want to say the grace together. 
the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Thank you for watching. Take care, Year 10, and I'll see you very soon. Bye.